Hello, my dear student. Uh, today I will discuss the rank of a matrix 4 cross 4 order. So, try to understand how to find the rank of a matrix. It is very simple, very simple solution. So, first you write down what you have. A is equals to what is your given matrix you have. Please write down minus 1, 2, minus 1, 0, 2, 4, 4, 2, 0, 0, 1, 5, 1, 6, 3, 2. This is your question. Now you write down what is your target. What is your ultimate target? Our objective to transform this matrix, this matrix into this form. So that that is called echelon form. That means minus one, two, minus one, zero, zero a b c, zero zero b e, zero 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 f. So this is our ultimate target. Okay. So after getting this echelon form, our objective to identify how many non-zero rows you have. So that number gives you the information about the rank of your original matrix this one okay zero row means any row all elements are zero in any row then that you call zero row otherwise non-zero row okay non-zero so now you write down another information always you should write arrow sign or uh, this sign or arrow please don't write any equal sign or imply sign no Please don't write this and that. Okay. Now, so first you are uh, first you first you try to write down your first part. That is your minus one, two, minus one, zero. Okay. Next you write down R2 dash. R2 dash indicates that you want to change second row. Then what to do? First you have to write down R2, then you write down R1. So in this case R1 is fixed. Okay. So which row you want to change right at first? Which row you want by which you want to change right at last? Now you check the number, only number. Now I'm not talking about the sign. Just reverse it. Two should be here, one should be here. I think it is clear to all of you. That means here. This 2 is associated with the R2 and this 1 is associated with the R1. I am not talking about the sign. I am talking about only number. Okay. Then you uh, first you have to reverse it. Then you check the sign. If please remember if they are same sign write minus. If they are opposite sign write plus. Okay. So it means so now you uh, multiply R2 row that is second row with 1 and first row with 2 then add all together so it is coming 0 4 into 1 plus it is coming 8 4 into 1 minus 2 it is coming 2 2 into 1 it is coming 2 please calculate along with me okay now our first is achieved second part is try to understand as a 0 so already you have it no need to write anything no need to change it okay as it is you write now our objective the fourth row first element should be zero already you have it one so here r3 r4 dash okay r4 dash is equals to write down r4 is here and r1 is here so number are one one if you have a same number you write same because if you uh, reverse the position ultimately there is no effect then you have opposite sign minus and plus if already you know if you have uh, opposite sign you write plus when you multi add it will it will come zero then six plus two it is coming two and uh, three minus two that is coming two and two into zero it is coming two okay now you can see now our first target is achieved so this number is non-zero then rest part should be zero so now already you have it okay so please write down the next step uh, minus 1 2 minus 1 0 
zero eight two two. Okay. Now our target. So next number should be zero. Already you have it. No need to rearrange or no need to apply any operation. Zero zero one five. Okay. Now our target. This number should be zero. So then what do you do? R four dash is equal to R four. In this case. You are talking about you are mean talking about fixed number is here in second row, so that's why you should pick up as a R two. Other another part you can remember this matrix operation based on your R one. Second operation is based on your R two. This also you can remember. Okay, now you check both are same number. Both are same number. If there are two option. If both are same option, in that case you may write one and one. But my suggestion is, whatever if you have a number, I am talking about the number, whether it is same or whether it is different. So process is reverse the position. Okay. So both are number, so you can reverse it. Okay. Now both are same number, you can subtract it. Now what is coming? It is coming zero eight eight into sixty plus two minus zero. This also coming zero. This also coming zero. Okay. Now you can see this two part become zero already. This part was also zero. Okay. Now we can see if I can take it on the next table. If I can take it as the next table. Okay. Just a minute. Okay. Now. If I can move to the next table now, you just you write down number. It is equals to B. That is new matrix is come up. Okay. Now you tell me already. Uh, this is in equivalent form. How many non-zero rows you have in B matrix? So please write down. There are. There are. There are three. Is it clear? One non-zero, second non-zero, three third non-zero. This is zero row. There are three non-zero rows in matrix B. Clear? Clear? Okay. Next, you write what is B? So please write down matrix B is an equivalent. Matrix of matrix A. That means which one is given? So uh, that means from whatever the matrix B is coming, it is coming from original matrix A. Correct. Matrix coming from A. So you write down the rank of the rank of B is. Three, the rank is three, as well as as well as rank of A is three. Is it clear? Is it clear to everyone? So this is the process. So first you have to rewrite the target. First you rewrite your target. What is your target? This is called equivalent form. According to that you should use the operation so here in this in this lecture i have used only row operation suppose you have a question in your mind sir can i use uh, column operation maybe mix row and column operation yes you can anything you can use but according to me this row operation is very simple and easy to remember and it is very to apply also okay now please try to go through the process and try to solve at least one question by yourself okay thank you